Welcome to Safe Money Counselor TV, presented by the Selkie Financial Group. I'm Rand DeWitt, and here with me today is the most important person you're going to hear from in this entire day, Jeff Selkie. Thanks for joining us. So great to be here. So excited to share some great financial strategies with all of our viewers today. And folks, you need to know this. Jeff, since 2005, has been ranked among the top 1% of financial advisors nationwide. He's also the author of the book, Making Your Dream Retirement a Reality. And uh, we also work together on uh, Salt Lake City Radio with Safe Money Counselor Radio. We've been doing that for years together. Um, tell us what separates the Selkie Financial Group and what you do from other financial advisors. I think it really comes down to comprehensive planning. There are many people who can help you with small parts of your financial plan, but what we do at Selkie Financial Group is help people figure out their tax strategy, their estate planning strategy, their retirement income strategy to make sure it all comes together and so that you can achieve financial security. And you provide the full spectrum of financial solutions is a good way to put it, folks. I mean, you've got all the tools in the toolbox. You wouldn't go see a dentist that didn't have all the proper, proper tools to get your teeth right. Why would you have a financial advisor that didn't have the full spectrum of tools in the toolbox? And that makes so much sense. You really want someone who's comprehensive, who's looking at all aspects of your financial plan, and who has all the tools to make sure you're making the right decisions. Now, Jeff, every year, thousands of people come to your Social Security Maximization Workshops, and you help thousands of people get their Social Security right. It's very important. Yeah, we get a lot of really good feedback from the classes we teach. I love educating people on their social security benefits, helping them figure out the strategies they can use to maximize their benefits, to get the most you possibly can out of it. It is so important that you're doing, making the right decisions as far as social security and your pension and your retirement goes, and that's really what we help teach people in our classes. Coming up next, Jeff is gonna show you how to maximize your social security benefits. Hang on. With many pensions disappearing and today's unsteady economic environment, learning how to maximize your Social Security benefits during retirement is no longer an option, it's a requirement. Many people think of Social Security income as a simple supplement to the retirement savings they've amassed over the years. But it's important to remember, Social Security provides guaranteed income for the rest of your life. This supplemental income can strengthen your financial situation for decades to come. 83% of Americans start collecting Social Security at the wrong time. Don't miss this opportunity to maximize your benefits. Call now to schedule a meeting with the Selkie Financial Group. And if you're one of the first 20 callers, you'll receive a free copy of Jeff Selkie's exclusive Social Security Maximization Guide. Call 877-488-4456. That's 877-488-4456. This important guide will provide expert insight on how and when you should start collecting your benefits. Call 877-488-4456 or visit safemoneycounselor.com. Okay, let's get right into it. So Social Security being an important part of your financial plan is important to understand all components of it. And so let's, let's talk about how Social Security is funded. Social Security is a tax. It's called the payroll tax. 6.2% of your income comes out of your paycheck every time you get a paycheck. Your employer is matching that 6.2%. So that's 12.4% of all the money you make over your entire career is going into Social Security. That's a lot of money. In fact, we've done some quick math. If you average a $50,000 a year salary over your lifetime, you will have put about $217,000 into Social Security of your own money. That's a lot of money. Now, if you make twice as much as that, multiply that number by two. You've put in over $400,000 into Social Security. So just be aware of that. It's real. You've paid into it. It's a tax. And now let's make sure that you're maximizing your benefits and you're getting back as much as you possibly can. One of the things that is concerning about Social Security to many people is the fact that Social Security is going broke. And let's talk about why that is. Back in 1950, there were 16 and a half workers for every one person collecting benefits. Today, there are less than three people working for every one person collecting benefits. Do you think that's an issue? Yeah, of course it is. It's a real issue that Social Security, there isn't going to be enough coming in to pay out the promised benefits here in about the year 2033. So Social Security is in trouble. 
And that's what makes it so important that you have a plan today, that whether you're retired right now or you're about to retire in the next few years, have a plan, make sure you're maximizing your benefits, make sure you're getting the most you possibly can out of Social Security. It is too, implor it is too important to play games with. You've got to make sure you have a game plan with it. So let's go on. When should you start your benefits? This is the question I get most at all the educational classes I teach, the people that call into my radio show and are asking about Social Security. They say, hey, when, when should I start my benefits? The answer is there is no one age that is the perfect age for everybody. Your timing depends on when you should start your benefits, depends on your life expectancy. It depends on your financial situation. It depends on your other income sources. There's all sorts of factors that go into when you should take your benefit. But a real quick, quick example is that every year you wait to take your benefits, your monthly benefit grows. So think about that. You can start your benefits as early as age 62, but you're taking a reduced benefit. If you wait until age 70, you get the highest monthly benefit, but you also, of course, get it for less number of years because it's only as good as long as you're alive. So it's important to find the, the right time. When is the exact right age for you? Is it age 64? Is it age 67? Is it age 66 in three months? You know, when is the right age for you? We have some great software that we help our clients figure out that timing. When is the right timing for you? How can you maximize your benefits and make sure that you and or your spouse are getting the most that you possibly can out of Social Security? So that's something we're going to talk about more here today. One of the things I want you to realize is that every year you wait, your monthly benefit is growing by about 6.25% between the ages of 62 and your full retirement age, which for many of you is gonna be about 66 to 67. So think about that. Every year you wait, your monthly benefit's growing by somewhere between six to 8% per year. That's a decent amount of growth and you've gotta take that into account when you're deciding when to start your benefits. One of the other questions that I get a lot at my educational classes is, does working affect my social security benefit? Uh, the surveys say that 70 to 80 percent of people plan to work. Maybe it's part time, maybe it's part time, maybe it's full time in retirement, but many of you plan to work. And is that going to affect your Social Security benefit? The quick answer is it may. And let me explain why. There's something called threshold or provisional income. And what the threshold income says if you start claiming your Social Security benefit and you're earning an income, Social Security may withhold up to a dollar in benefits for every two dollars of earnings that you have in excess of sixteen thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars a year this is in the year 2017 but think about that if you're younger than your full retirement age which for many of you is about 66 years old if you're younger than that and you start collecting your benefit there is a good chance they're going to withhold some of your benefits if you're making income above sixteen thousand dollars a year there's a higher threshold in the year of your full retirement age so the year that you turn 66 if that's your full retirement age they're going to withhold $1 in benefits for every $3 of earnings in excess of $44,880 in that year. Now, after your full retirement age, you can make as much income as you want. So you could be making $100,000 a year, a million a year, and you get to keep your full Social Security benefit. But let's, let me give you an example of how this works. I had a lady call into my radio show, um, and she said, Hey, my CPA told me to start collecting my Social Security benefit right now. What do you think? And I said, well, let me ask you a few questions. And uh, I found out she's 64 years old. She's working for the state right now and making $50,000 a year of income. Um, I asked her a couple of questions. I said, well, what would your monthly benefit be? And she said, it'd be about $1,200 a month if she takes it right now. And I said, do you need the money? And she said, no, I don't need the money right now. I'm working full time. Um, I said, okay, well then why would you take it? Especially with $50,000 a year income. She said that her CPA told her to start collecting the benefit to invest it. And I said, well, that sounds great. I love investing. I've been investing since I was six years old, if you can believe that. But where are you going to invest the money? And she said, I don't know. I said, well, what does your CPA say? She said, he doesn't know either. So I said, okay, number one, you don't know where to invest the money. And where are you going to invest it where you're going to get about a 6% growth rate on that money? And the truth is, there's not anywhere that's guaranteed that's going to get that. And so I said, number one, no, you shouldn't take your money. But number two, she makes too much money. She can't take her Social Security benefit. Because if you look at the numbers, she makes $50,000 a year. That's way more than that $16,000 number a year. So they're going to withhold $1 in benefits for every $2 she's over that. They're going to withhold her full benefit. That's just an example of how this works. So just be aware that if you're working full time, 
making good money, and you want to collect your benefit, you may or may not be able to depending on your age. With many pensions disappearing and today's unsteady economic environment, learning how to maximize your Social Security benefits during retirement is no longer an option, it's a requirement. Many people think of Social Security income as a simple supplement to the retirement savings they've amassed over the years. But it's important to remember, Social Security provides guaranteed income for the rest of your life. This supplemental income can strengthen your financial situation for decades to come. 83% of Americans start collecting Social Security at the wrong time. Don't miss this opportunity to maximize your benefits. Call now to schedule a meeting with the Selkie Financial Group. And if you're one of the first 20 callers, you'll receive a free copy of Jeff Selkie's exclusive Social Security Maximization Guide. Call 877-488-4456. That's 877-488-4456. This important guide will provide expert insight on how and when you should start collecting your benefits. Call 877-488-4456 or visit safemoneycounselor.com. Now, what about taxes? Social Security comes out of our paycheck as a tax. It is a tax. So they're not going to tax us again on that benefit, are they? Of course they are. Um, our government is set up in a way to tax us and, and they will do everything they can to tax us. And Social Security is one of those ways that they're going to do that. Even though you've already paid taxes on Social Security, it is, a, it is a tax that you've paid, that you've put into the system. When you go to take your benefits, there's a good chance you're going to be paying taxes on your Social Security benefit. And it works a little bit like this. They base it on your threshold income. They say that up to 85% of your benefits will be taxable depending on what your threshold income is. And your threshold income is your adjusted gross income, that's on your tax return, plus any non-taxable interest. What's that? That's, that's municipal bond interest, things like that, that aren't taxable, but they come back to bite you when it comes to Social Security taxes. And then they add in half of your Social, social Security benefits. So that's nice. They only add in half of your Social Security benefit to figure out this number. Well, that gives you your, your threshold income. Let me give you an example of that. Let's say I'm retired and I'm making $30,000 a year from a pension or from withdrawals from my 401k, my IRAs, rental income, whatever it is. I've got $30,000 a year of income. And let's say I don't have any of that non-taxable interest because most of us don't. But I've got, between myself and my spouse, we've got about $30,000 a year coming in from Social Security. So they're going to count half of that, about $15,000. Well, what does that give me as far as a threshold income? That puts me at about $45,000 a year. Do you think that's a level where I should be taxed on my Social Security benefits? I think most people would agree, no, no, that's not a high income. That's not like you're making a ton of money. It's a good income, but you're not filthy rich if you're making this kind of income. But the truth is, as a married couple filing jointly, 85% of your Social Security benefit will be taxable if your income, if that number we just talked about is above $44,000 a year. Well, my number was $45,000 a year. So my benefit will be taxable. 85% of it will be taxable. The good news is 15% of your Social Security benefit will be tax-free. Isn't that great? Uncle Sam is always giving it back to us and helping us out. So now what if you're single? If you're single, that number is $34,000 a year. That if your income is higher than that, 85% of your Social Security income will be counted as taxable income. There are all sorts of different levels depending on your income. There are ways to keep your taxes low in retirement and to even eliminate taxes on Social Security. Some of the things that you can do is look at ways to reduce your income, your taxable income. Now that may be looking at ways to uh, structure your cash flows. You know, if you own a business, maybe you can do something like that. There's some other things you can do as, as far as creating some tax-free income, such as from Roth IRAs or life insurance products. There's different ways to structure your income to create some tax-free income and get your tax bracket lower so that your Social Security benefit is less taxed or not taxed at all. So if you'd like some strategies on that, please feel free to reach out to us. There are some good ways to make sure to minimize your taxes. Now, I want to talk about a few different situations that I run into quite a bit. People who are divorced, people who have remarried, people who are widowed. What benefits are out there and available to you? 
I want to give you an example, tell you a story about a client of mine. He came to me and he said, hey, my mom, you know, he's telling me about her situation. She's 85 years old. She's been collecting Social Security for a, a while. Is there anything she can be doing to maximize her benefits? And I started asking, her some, asking him some questions about his mom. And here's what he told me is his mom has been divorced from his dad for a long time, uh, for 15 years, but dad actually passed away five years ago. So as a divorced person, she just assumed she was only entitled to her own benefit. So she's been collecting her benefit, which was about $800 a month. Little did she know, even while she was divorced, because they were married for more than 10 years, she was entitled to a spousal benefit off of her ex-spouse while he was living. So she could have been collecting around $1,200 a month instead of the $800 a month that she had been collecting of her own benefit. So she was missing out on about $400 a month for about 10 years. Then when her ex-spouse passed away five years ago, she was actually entitled to receive his complete benefit. So she could have been receiving about $2,400 a month from Social Security, his full benefit when he passed away, rather than the $800 a month she had been receiving of her own benefit. So for the last five years, she's missed out on all that money. That amounts to tens and tens of thousands of dollars that she has missed out on. And guess what? Social Security does not pay you back. That is your mistake for not knowing your benefits. Social Security doesn't reach out to you to tell you about these benefits that are available to you and about these strategies that exist to help make sure you're getting the most you can. You've got to do the research and or search out someone who has the answers so that they can help you figure this out. It is very complicated, but just be aware of that. If you have someone, maybe yourself or a friend or family member who's been divorced, make sure they understand that there may be benefits available to them. This is so important. Now, if somebody's widowed, if your spouse passes away or your ex-spouse, who you're married to, passes away, you may be entitled to widower benefits, and that gives you the access to their full benefit, and you can actually start benefits as early as age 60, although they will be reduced if you take them at age 60. But just be aware there are benefits available to you make sure you're getting those benefits. This is too important to not get the most you can out of it. With many pensions disappearing and today's unsteady economic environment, learning how to maximize your social security benefits during retirement is no longer an option, it's a requirement. Many people think of Social Security income as a simple supplement to the retirement savings they've amassed over the years. But it's important to remember, Social Security provides guaranteed income for the rest of your life. This supplemental income can strengthen your financial situation for decades to come. 83% of Americans start collecting Social Security at the wrong time. Don't miss this opportunity to maximize your benefits. Call now to schedule a meeting with the Selkie Financial Group. And if you're one of the first 20 callers, you'll receive a free copy of Jeff Selke's exclusive Social Security Maximization Guide. Call 877-488-4456. That's 877-488-4456. This important guide will provide expert insight on how and when you should start collecting your benefits. Call 877-488-4456 or visit safemoneycounselor.com. Now, I want to talk about the Bipartisan Budget Act of 2015. This was a huge law and the largest change to Social Security since the year 2000. In fact, in Section 831, they called it the closure of unintended Social Security loopholes. So what Congress and the President did is they got together and passed a law that changed your Social Security benefits. It got rid of a couple of claiming strategies that could have helped you get tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds, of thousands of dollars more out of Social Security. Knowing the right strategy can make all the difference. And they did look at reducing the budget for Social Security by cutting some of these, they called them loopholes, but strategies that helped you to maximize your benefits. I applaud them for that, for looking for ways to reduce the budget. But what they've done is got rid of a couple strategies that really were very beneficial to many people. One of those strategies is a strategy called file and suspend. Some of you may have heard of this before, some of you probably haven't. But it's a, a strategy that would allow you to file for your benefits but delay them and not receive them right now so that your spouse could take a spousal benefit off of your benefit right now. 
this strategy had some good benefits to it. it. It didn't fit everybody, so don't feel like you've missed out on everything, but it is a strategy that is gone, that they got rid of with this strategy. So these are th some of the things you need to be aware of, that Congress can change the law, and they did, and this was the largest change to Social Security since the year 2000. So this was a big change as far as benefits go. Uh, so just be aware, our Congress and the President can change Social Security benefits in the future. Let's talk about what you can do today. So if you are already receiving your benefits, number one, this law, this change in Social Security benefits does not affect you. If you're already collecting your benefits, you're already receiving them, nothing's going to change for you or your dependents that are currently receiving benefits. Now, if you have not yet filed for your benefits, it is very important. In fact, I would call it vital that you seek out some good advice for Social Security. Again, it is way too complicated for the average person to figure out on their own. It's a lot like preparing your own tax return. This is complicated stuff. Social Security is difficult to understand. And there's so many little benefits out there that most people just don't, they just aren't aware of. And you could be missing out on tens of thousands of dollars in benefits over your lifetime. So make sure you get our Social Security Maximization Guide to make sure that you learn some of these concepts we've talked about and to help remind you of what we've talked about here today, as well as be sure to reach out to us if you'd like a personal consultation to figure out how to maximize your benefits and how Social Security fits in the rest of your retirement picture, along with your pension and your 401k and other savings and, and income sources that you're going to have. This is too important to leave to chance. Make sure you get some good advice about Social Security. With many pensions disappearing and today's unsteady economic environment, learning how to maximize your Social Security benefits during retirement is no longer an option, it's a requirement. Many people think of Social Security income as a simple supplement to the retirement savings they've amassed over the years. But it's important to remember, Social Security provides guaranteed income for the rest of your life. This supplemental income can strengthen your financial situation for decades to come. 83% of Americans start collecting Social Security at the wrong time. Don't miss this opportunity to maximize your benefits. Call now to schedule a meeting with the Selkie Financial Group. And if you're one of the first 20 callers, you'll receive a free copy of Jeff Selkie's exclusive Social Security Maximization Guide. Call 877-488-4456. That's 877-488-4456. This important guide will provide expert insight on how and when you should start collecting your benefits. Call 877-488-4456 or visit safemoneycounselor.com. All right, folks, welcome back. And Jeff, during your presentation, great presentation, by the way, um, something that I learned was that working while you're collecting Social Security can really hurt your financial situation. It really can, and I've even got another story on it. Uh, one of my great clients, he called me up one day and said, hey, you know, I want to take Social Security, what do you think? And I, I know all about his situation. He's 64 years old, he makes a lot of money, he's making over 100,000 a year, he has no need for this income. So I asked him why. Why would you take the benefits now, even if you could? And he said, well, my buddies are telling me that they're taking it and that I should start taking my benefits. So first of all, never listen to your buddies when it comes to your finances. <laughs> just don't do it. They're, they're, they're wrong. And um, that's just how it works. Well, and every situation is unique. Every situation is unique. You can't so. just rely on your buddies telling you to start your Social Security benefits. It's more complicated than that. What I did for him is I said, okay, let's step back. Now, I knew that he couldn't take his benefits because he makes too much money. But what I said to him is, let us run our analysis. We have some great software and let's figure out how to maximize your and your wife's benefits. And so we ran our numbers and sure enough, the strategy that came back from the, the, our software was not to take his benefits right now, of course. It was to wait a couple more years, but not wait forever. And there were some great strategies in there that were gonna help him get about two hundred thousand dollars more over his lifetime than he would have gotten if he had started his benefits today. So basically adding almost a quarter of a million dollars in income in retirement. Over his lifetime? I mean this is like an ad additional ten thousand dollars per year in income from Social Security alone. This is real. There are some real benefits and this is really who our planning can help 
is someone who's making good money, someone who has substantial assets, and you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I maximize Social Security along with all of my other planning? That's where we can really help you with comprehensive planning and helping you figure out how to maximize your Social Security benefits along with all of your financial affairs. And it's important for people to understand, everybody's so excited to start collecting that Social Security as soon as they can. That can actually cut into so much of your wealth because people are living so much longer these days. It's true. We know that life expectancy is getting longer and longer and taking your benefits as soon as possible is probably not the best strategy for you. But neither is waiting forever. So let's figure out where is that happy medium? When is the best time to maximize your benefits? And that's really what we can help you do here at Selkie Financial Group. All right, Jeff, thanks for sharing your wealth of knowledge. It's my pleasure. Uh, I love helping people figure out how to maximize their benefits. And that's what this man does. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff here can provide comprehensive financial planning strategies that will help you make your dream retirement a reality, which is amazing because that's the name of your book. That is the name of my book. That's, right. that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching Safe Money Counselor TV. With many pensions disappearing and today's unsteady economic environment, learning how to maximize your Social Security benefits during retirement is no longer an option, it's a requirement. Many people think of Social Security income as a simple supplement to the retirement savings they've amassed over the years. But it's important to remember, Social Security provides guaranteed income for the rest of your life. This supplemental income can strengthen your financial situation for decades to come. 83% of Americans start collecting Social Security at the wrong time. Don't miss this opportunity to maximize your benefits. Call now to schedule a meeting with the Selkie Financial Group. And if you're one of the first 20 callers, you'll receive a free copy of Jeff Selkie's exclusive Social Security Maximization Guide. Call 877-488-4456. That's 877-488-4456. This important guide will provide expert insight on how and when you should start collecting your benefits. Call 877-488-4456 or visit safemoneycounselor.com. You can learn more about Jeff by picking up his book. It's called Making Your Dream Retirement a Reality. My goal of writing the book is to help you have your dream retirement. That's why we came up with the title, Make Your Dream Retirement a Reality. If you read my book and follow the principles taught in it, it's meant to be a blueprint for you to show you how to have your dream retirement, how to have the income you need to last a lifetime. It's a great read. It's a very clear read. Folks, pick it up. Make your dream retirement a reality by author, TV host, radio host, all around great guy, Jeff Selke.